I, I think I see it up there. There it is. I gotta do it for the name of the game. Space Zoom, see in space, baby. Oh no. Just some X-Files trying to get it in here. It's like a spirit I'm trying to capture in my little box. Where are you, you bastard? Welcome to my humble abode. I'm here because, well, you know why. And uh, before I left the Sina offices, I was able to snag a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with the famous 100X space zoom, or so they call it. I was also able to snag an iPhone 11 Pro. So while I'm here, I figured, you know, my friends and coworkers have already done really in-depth, full reviews, deep dives on the camera, but we're stuck at home and I'm like, I got a pretty good view of New York City why don't I try some stuff out with space zoom, including can it actually see into space? And we wanted to see the International Space Station in particular, so we went to NASA's Spot the Station website and found out when we should be able to see it with the naked eye from my apartment building. But by and large, most of the photos everyone's seen from this 100X space zoom camera are cool and kind of a fun party trick, but they're kind of just a huge blurry mess for the most part. So luckily, by a very unexplainable camera trick, I have about a $2,000 Sackler tripod that I'm gonna put this phone and the iPhone 11 Pro on. And I'm gonna go up on my roof, I'm gonna take some 100X photos using space zoom of the city, and then I wanna take 2X and 10X photos on the iPhone 11 Pro, bring them back to my computer, zoom in, and see at roughly the same framing how much better the photos are on the Galaxy S20. Well, I think this explains the leaks we've been having. All right, I'm gonna do my best to uh, respect my neighbor's privacy because I don't wanna implicate them in a sort of rear window disturbia situation. But again, it's for my own safety. I don't wanna witness something I'm not supposed to see. And next thing I know, I'm jumping off this roof, trying to land on an awning, roll off a Aladdin style, and then I'm just running down the streets from some serious bad guys. But uh, I'll stop there. Anyways, let's get to the experiment. I'm gonna, it's really hard to see the screen, so I'm just gonna work on my bicep strength and keep talking to you like this. Hopefully I don't end up on Influencers in the Wild Instagram, which you should check out because it's really funny. But uh, we're gonna start with the 108 megapixel mode at 1X, just cause, just for fun. And I have the timer set up, so it'll fully eliminate any sort of human error shaking this thing once we're zoomed in. And I've already lined it up to where when we zoom in, we're going to land on the New York Life building, which is the gold roofed building. It's actually really close to the CNET office. Hope I get back there someday. But it's roughly about four miles from where we are now, give or take. And we're just going to stop at every one of the increments that they have already kind of laid out here. So 2x is next. Then let's jump to 4x. Everyone loves 4x. This is technically the top of the optical zoom, but Samsung says that up to 10X, they do some wizardry to combine optical and digital zoom. And like my friend and colleague Lexi said, the photos at 10X are pretty solid. All right, and then we'll go to 30, I think is when you kind of start seeing some quality degradation. And then the space zoom, 100X, let's see it. It's gonna fly in there land on this thing. Ooh, little crispy, see the heat waves? But gold still looks pretty nice. All right, giving my left arm a break. I don't know how people do this every day. But uh, I got the iPhone set up. We're also gonna be using this iPhone later to find the International Space Station with the Night Sky app, which is always fun. But right now, we're gonna set it up it only goes up to 2x optical zoom and only up to 10x digital zoom. But up to 10x, we're gonna stop at each one of the X points we stopped with the S20 Ultra and take the same photo lined up with the gold roofed New York Life building four miles away. All right, we pulled out all the stops did some taps, and now we gotta wait for the International Space Station to show up. Maybe like to pass the time, we should just shoot a time-lapse or something. 
All right, we got it set up. I'm not totally sure I'm in focus, but we got night sky running on the iPhone. We got the Samsung S20 Ultra set up here. Now, according to Spot the Station, the International Space Station should be visible to the naked eye for two minutes, and it will be going north to northwest, kind of uptown. We'll be battling the New York City light pollution for sure, but it should be high enough that we're okay. I've tried this before. It's really hard to capture with the S20 Ultra, but you can see the space station. It's super bright, one of the brightest things in the sky, but it actually doesn't have any lights on it. It's just reflecting light from the sun and other things to make it super bright, and it also moves pretty fast. So do I have faith that I'll be able to capture it with this thing? Not really. I already took the timer off because the timer is just gonna throw me off when I'm trying to track this thing, and I'm not super confident the photo's gonna be great anyways. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm thankful for all the healthcare workers and the grocery store workers and everyone who's working right now. This is me working, being a dork out here. All right, it's about to breach. Holy hell, it's about to breach. I think I, I, think I see it up there. There it is. I just got it in the wide. All right, let's move in 10X. There it is in 10X, and we'll go 30X. Got it, it's not great, but we got it. We only got two minutes, this is just like so stressful. All right, I gotta do it though. Just, I gotta do it for the name of the game, Space Zoom, see in space, baby. Oh no. All right, come on. Oh, I, I think I might've got it. I think I might've got it. Um, I see it much better with my naked eye than I do in this thing. Where are you, you bastard? Put the iPhone away. Damn, this is like just some X-Files shit trying to get it in here. It's like a spirit I'm trying to capture in my little box. Oh, it's fading a little bit. I think we just lost it. We'll have to take it back, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. That was really hard and honestly, kind of a rush. Do I think it was a good photo? Absolutely not, but do I think it's cool that I was even able to try to take a photo of the International Space Station with the phone? Yeah, that was pretty fun. The Space Zoom gimmick might be working on me, at least for now, but we've been to space. We need to come back to Earth. Let's take it to the computer and see if what we got wasn't complete fertilizer. Or we could just stay in space. <laughs> We're back here, had some time to marinate, and uh, before we move any further, just please keep in mind, that this is all just for fun. It's not super scientific, and these photos are a little bit of a joke, but it's not that big of a deal. They all kind of look like an abstract Jackson Pollock painting, but let's look at them. Here's a 1X and uh, you can barely see this little dot up here. And uh, if you were looking at the thing in real life, you'd see it was pretty dull when we first saw it. And then it got really bright. And then for the last 30 seconds or so that it was visible, it started fading out again. And then the 10X, there it is. And then 30X, the blob is a little bit bigger. And then drum roll, please. Um, I'm thinking about submitting this to the MoMA once it opens back up. Bam, 100X, didn't even get it with the shutter delay. You know, I'd like to think that an astronaut is up there somewhere just giving us the finger as we're trying to take a photo of them. But uh, luckily, I was screen recording, as you've already seen. So this is about how close we got to the ISS with a phone. Also, on the other side of the roof, I took some photos of planes that were landing at LaGuardia. And I think the ambient light was a little better over here. And the planes were closer, obviously. So we got some cool, again, abstract sort of indie rock album covers. And uh, still just a blob, but kind of cool. But let's go back and look at the daytime photos against the iPhone, which again, wasn't a super serious test. The lighting was changing. They were on a little bit different planes, but still fun to look at and just see how good the zoom is. All right, let's start with the 108 megapixel shot versus the standard 1X, both on the S20 Ultra. And honestly, they don't look that much different to me. The 108 megapixel shot looks more vivid in the foreground for sure, but Manhattan looks clearer and more detailed in the standard version. But for the record, I thought all of the 108 megapixel shots of my cat looked awesome. All right, moving on. Here's the One X of both phones. I, uh, I think the S21 is a more interesting photo, but I like the clouds of the iPhone. And the iPhone definitely got the white balance a lot closer to what it actually looked like in real life. All right, 2X already at the final optical stop for the iPhone. And the lighting is clearly a lot different here, but for the record, I do like the S20 Ultra shot better. And here at 4X, I'm actually pretty impressed with the iPhone. These shots don't look drastically different considering this is a digital zoom for the iPhone. And now our framing starts to get a little off because I had to adjust it. Um, 10X, again, the Samsung is clearly better, but I don't think the iPhone looks too bad. It's definitely benefiting from some extra sun hitting the gold roof, but uh, it's not that bad considering that's, that's all digital there. 
All right, that's almost it for the iPhone. Let's just real quick look at the 30X from the Ultra. It looks a little bit like a low-res building photo you'd find on Google Images, but I think the detail that's in there is pretty solid considering it's taken from four miles away. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, bam. All right, here we are at 100X and 100X in quotes. Um, I scaled the iPhone photo up from the 2X telephoto to roughly match the framing of the S20 Ultra. And as you can see, the iPhone photo is pretty atrocious. No surprise, here's the 10X photo scaled up to fake 100X and it's a little bit better, but it still gets nowhere near the amount of detail that the Ultra is able to capture from four miles away. All right, that was a lot of fun. I hope it was a nice distraction from everything that's going on. I'm here for a while, so let me know if you wanna see any other videos about these two phone cameras or really just wanna see anything at all that I might be able to pull off from my apartment. Stay safe out there, wash your hands, be excellent to each other. Thanks for watching. Here's Lexi's video that I referenced a bunch of times.